actually here in Korea, you normally to get access to a lady, you have to be introduced. And actually, I was introduced to Shina by her sister. Her sister is living in Norway, and I met her there. And uh, she told about the fact that she had a nice sister living in Korea, alone, unmarried, and so did I. So she asked whether I would like to meet her, and I did. We met uh, first the two meetings were not very successful, but after first after first meet, after then we decide to <laughs> live together. <laughs> We didn't sit down and decide upon that uh, at a special time. It was something that developed. Even in spite of uh, our culture and uh, experience, it was dif different. I think it has been uh, three uh, challenges, uh, which is, it has been equally problematic. One is food. I have probably still a uh, problem with kimchi and sesame oil. The other one is uh, religion. Uh, Shina is coming from uh, a Christian culture and they are very, very Christian, to put it in that, in that way. And the third one has been vacation. Uh, when, Shina, when I met Shina, she was working and you know, Koreans, they are very inflexible when it comes to take vacation. And we, I like to move around uh, this and that, so it was a bit problematic for us. Uh, that she could join me every time I want to go on vacation. It was uh, communication because uh, I had not um, any practice of English. So Steiner also, um, he don't know and understand, don't understand about Korean. So we had to use English. So it was so difficult to, to me and we had uh, many problems and uh, um, many misunderstanding materialized. We had three uh, main uh, cultural uh, challenges, food, uh, religion and vacation. When it comes to food and religion, then before we married, we entered into an agreement to the effect that I promised to join her to church every Sunday. On the other hand, she promised never to bring kimchi into the house and then create the smell. And we have both kept that uh, promise uh, since we married. When it comes to vacation, she tried to get a more flexible job situation, uh, but that was not possible, so she just quit her job. When it comes to the other um, uh, cultural, cultural uh, challenges, the best advice is you, you have to be generous and flexible and you have to try to, to understand the, your partner's culture and kind of respect that and not think that your own culture is the only one.